you and I watched the Netflix series Beef. It was number one on Netflix for for a while, um, and I thought it had some. I, I thought it was a pretty good show. So I just yeah. wanted to get your thoughts on it. I know we, uh, you know, we have a few thoughts here. So, yeah, bro. I mean, I love the show. Uh, I binged it in like three days. It's like thirty minutes a piece. Like if you're checking, wanting to check it out, like everyone in the nation has watched it at this point. But uh, I love the show. I thought it was fantastic as a, on a base level. I would recommend it across the board. It's one of the better limited like TV series that Netflix has put out. I think uh, I love seeing the perspective of like just not talking about just the show as a as an art, but more just like I love seeing the perspective of different cultures. I feel like the writer and the actors in that show. Um, Steven Yeun, I can't remember who wrote it, uh, but they really put a lot of themselves in it. Mm-hmm. Even the other actors, actor, I think it's Ali or something like that. I can't remember her yeah, name. Yeah, Ali Wong. Ali Wong, but... She's she's a, a comedian. Is she? Yeah, like, that's her main thing. I did not know that. Well, I say that. She, like, writes, she's a comedy writer and stuff, but she does stand-up. Gotcha, like, she's got gotcha. several specials. That makes that. sense. She's, you know, I think she did great. I think the, just people, they put a lot of that, like, uh, that Asian, different Asian... Uh, tropes in there like that they deal with like specific racist things from like older generations and like uh, kind of the pressure of like their the, that they get from parents and mm-hmm. like you know there was a scene in there where the husband was upset at the the other protagonist of the of the uh, the show because he didn't like that he was Japanese like little stuff yeah. like that like his yeah, pride yeah. got a hold of him so he was yeah. like let me go do this yeah. I just love seeing those little because. Th- I haven't, I'm not privy to you that could st- You could also all. still tell that story without those things. So those things are just like intentional, like that makes world, for better world dialogue. Building. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's world yeah, building. Yeah. What about you? What did you like about it? Well, I mean, I, I thought cinematography was great. Um, I thought the premise was funny. Like, you know what I mean? It's just yeah. two people who are kind of miserable that, that just like rage out at each other. Um, one of my favorite things, I think, was, well, I specifically the last episode to me was really impressive. So you had, it felt like the second to last episode, you could just basically have ended the show there yeah. or whatever. And so I was like, oh, oh, we have a whole another episode. I wonder what they're going to do. And it was really cool that they basically, you know, they're, they're spoilers, they're stranded, you know what I'm saying, out in the middle. Like, they're, they both ruined each other's lives to a point that they're, like, definitely in some deep shit. And then they get taken <laughs> to their lowest moment. I mean, they're, they're, you know, I mean, they're literally injuring each other. Oh, they're about to, they're almost... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Spoilers ahead, they're almost dead. Yeah, they're having a a close to death, you know, a near-death experience, (laughs) close to death. Yeah, near-death experience, and then, uh, you know, then they take a psychedelic, and off the psychedelic, they're forced to just sit and talk with each other because they're both, like, dying, and they're, like, extremely sick as a result. But they then they start unpacking things and realizing that they're both kind of dealing with the same underlying types of things. Problems, yeah, yeah. Right, they've all been depressed. Um, and, And along your line of themes as well, uh, there was one theme of of basically like you know you see it several times through the movie. He was where where the the guy I forgot the main character's name, but he says to Ali's character like, "Yo, like, do I just have to get to your level of finance in order for like me to right, stop right, feeling right. like this, right?" Mm-hmm. And she was basically like, "Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's deeper it's, than it's that. A, it's a fleeting moment." But she felt the same way with the billionaire. She had asked the same thing of the billionaire. Yeah, yeah. And the billionaire was like, nah, like it's fleeting. It's deeper than that. Yeah. There's a hierarchical, like they, they talk about, it's like that that kind of uh, money doesn't buy happiness kind of theme. Is yeah. that what you're trying to say? Yeah. I was, bro, you know, you ever heard it of definitely log helps, line? but. <laughs> I know, it, I definitely not, feel better when I have more money. Yeah, yeah. Like it's one like, less problem. Like I'm not problem. hungry. You well, know, like don't play in this writer's like whole, <laughs> no. No, yeah. you know, you talked about themes. Um, you know what a log line is? Mm-hmm. Do you? Isn't a log line where... Oh, actually, slick. No, so a log line is like is, it, is that like exposition in the? It's traditionally used for pitching, like TV shows, movies. Oh, right. Okay, no, never mind. I did see that. That's that's why it was on the uh, that master, master class. class. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it's you know for the audience, if you don't know, it's a traditionally used as a one to two, sometimes three sentence kind of one line that describes the. It's a synopsis. Synopsis describes the pitch, TV show, the movie, whatever performance media. Because log lines can be used for anything. I mean, a book even. But it's like, um, usually they say, if you don't have a log line, you don't have a movie. And t- a lot of the typical tropes within a log. Like you're line saying, having, like if you can't explain the movie in an elevator pitch, you don't have a good. Then, you don't have a yeah. good. You okay. Know, something's wrong with your story. You can format it and like fix that. Yeah, yeah. Like, but usually that include like most cases it includes irony and something like that. And I was thinking about what was the log line for this show and I was like dude actually it's pretty cool like 
and I, didn't, I don't have it off the top of my head, but if I was to guess, it'd be like uh, two people get in a road rage incident that leads them, leads them down a treacherous path of hate and internal self-reflection. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. it is just between yeah. two people who just like yeah. are road raging. It starts off with this, first of all, wonderfully shot chase scene, yeah. which you don't see many of those nowadays. They're very rare. I mean, it wasn't on the level of the Batman, but it's like for what it's trying to do. It starts off with that, right? And then you and then you think like, oh, they're just gonna. That was the end of that. We're gonna dig into Steven's character or Ali's character, mm-hmm. and then you're like, oh, these converge at some place. Yeah. I think that's a cool. I love stories like that. Breaking Bad is the is the example. Yeah, because you have all these. Yeah, yeah, we were. I'm still watching Better what? Call Saul and finishing it up on that mm-hmm. season. Same same Fire. director. But yeah, the, I I noticed that it's always like. You're following like three different people's stories. Like you get, um, I mean, like in uh, in Breaking Bad, you get Hank's story, you get you know Walter's story, you get Jesse's Pinkman. story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get uh, some. T- sometimes you get the uh, the wife's story. Yeah, true. Uh, sometimes you get stories, dude. That, sometimes you get Gus's. stories of random characters too. I love when they. And do then that. you know what I'm saying? That's my favorite. They did that in this too, though. Like they did that with the the uh, dude who who was married to the girl at the church. Oh yeah, very yeah, subtly. Yeah. I love yeah. stuff like that because, irrespective of the main quarrels between the two main characters, yeah. you have this like dude who's like b- dealing with insecurities of his wife not really liking him, yeah. and thinking these other dudes are cooler than him. Yeah, it's like, and then they. Well, all wasn't converge. that wasn't that supposed to be his ex from before, and she ended up getting married? Exactly. And she like, kept saying, "Oh, you're not as good as like you," don't, or she kept yeah. saying little yeah, little yeah. jabs, and I think that was yeah. really, um, really cool. All right, on a scale from. One or zero to twelve daggers. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a. Ah, oh man, it's hard because I really enjoyed it. I want to give it twelve, but mm-hmm. I'm gonna give it ten because I've seen better in the same genre. What do you feel like it misses out on? Where where, where could it improve? Um, I think that sometimes the characters are doing things that are. There, it's built upon this foundation that the characters are doing things that I don't think actual people would do, mm-hmm. uh, burning down someone's house or like. Yeah. It's built upon this, and that's. I mean, obviously, it's a show, right? It's I thought like, David Cho's character was a little bit like, kind of outrageous. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes, and you got to have that a little bit. You know, Tuco was was that. Yeah, that's true. Like, it was kind of, but that's true. But but also, there are shows that do that, don't do that, and are also great. Yeah, you know what I mean. Ten out ten out of twelve. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with ten out of twelve as well. I mean, I think I really enjoyed it. And I, I, another thing to me that, you know, would took it away from being a, like an 11 or whatever is yeah. just like the scale of the movie or the, uh, the series. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like it, it did feel a little compressed and maybe that's some of the, some that was the intention, the right? But it's not Game of Thrones is what you're saying. Like, no, no, but I'm just saying like, you know, like it, it, like a, like the purge was, the purge was an amazing concept, but then the purge was just, the whole concept was boiled down to. At one house. Yeah, one house. Yeah. So I felt I felt like, yeah, we didn't get a whole lot of. Uh, I, I don't know how to, else to explain it, but it, it, the scale of it. Um, yeah, I, I like a bit more scale. If you know, but let me ask you one question the, before we move on about yes. beef. Is that like, I like the te- the title of the name, which is beef. Yeah. Because it's very. First of all, I believe it's very hard to sell a limited series because companies make more money when they have a successful yeah. show that yep. spans across multiple seasons. Do you think they're going to make beef a black mirror or like more more so American horror story type show where like we deal with different beefs? I don't think so cuz like yeah I don't, I don't I don't think so. I mean they might make a a spin-off or a continuation of this one maybe, but yeah. I don't think they'll just make it a series like maybe they will, but I I if it I seemed was, intentional in that case. Like it seemed like this is the story we want to tell. Right, right. Yeah. But I mean like I don't know how much different it gets. Like if the whole core of the concept is like basically the same, you know. Even even if they have different relationships, saying, yeah. they're really just but, squabbing at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, yeah. Good show. But good 10, show. ten out of twelve. Ten out of twelve. Ten out of twelve from the thickest thieves podcast. Yes. Y'all hear yes. it first? No, not first, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah, baby, need top five when I'm done going mental. Yeah, I'm locked in. You can peep my condition in the lab all winter, all summer. Yeah, I went dumb. Now I'm about to go.